Hey everyone, in this video we are going to be adding a connect wallet button to a Next.js TypeScript project. We are going to do it using the Third Web React SDK. The Third Web SDK comes with a beautiful ready to use connect wallet component. Currently, 71.4% of people who watch our Web3 videos have not subscribed to the channel. So if you've taken away any value from what we're doing, can I ask just one small favor? Hit that subscribe button and join the 29%. Each week we are going to be airdropping a very special and rare third web NFT to 10 subscribers. Let's dive into the code and see how to add this connect wallet component to our Next.js project. As you can see, I'm here in VS Code and this is a Next.js project which I um, quickly spun up. Um, we are going to um, start by opening up the terminal and actually going to open up um, two terminals. In the first one, I'm going to install the Third Web React SDK. So npm i at thirdweb-dev forward slash react. I'm going to hit enter and let that start um, its, uh, its installation. And then in the second terminal, I'm going to get this project running locally. So npm run dev and going to let that start itself up. Um, and then once that's running, we can take a look in the local host and we can see here, this is just the standard um, Next.js um, homepage. And, uh, um, and this is just um, what comes when you um, create a new Next.js project. Um, if you are doing this for your own project, so if you've got an existing app and you want to integrate the, um, or you want to add the third web connect wallet um, button, then you don't have to worry about this next part because I'm simply just cleaning up the um, the, the standard Next.js app. So I'm going to just remove all of this stuff over here because we don't need it for, for this. Um, and uh, I'm going to remove this also. And I'm also going to remove these unused imports. Um, and then it's, it's clean and it's ready to go. You can see that it is completely empty now. Um, and again, if you're integrating this into your own um, application, your own existing application, then you don't have to worry about that part. All you have to do is worry about installing the third web um, React SDK. Um, and then once this is done installing, um, you'll notice that we're going to do two things. Firstly, we're going to go into the underscore app.tsx and we're going to wrap our app with the third web provider. And the third web provider allows us to use all of the third web magic. So we will have access to all of the hooks and the components, and of course the connect wallet component itself. Um, and then once it's wrapped over there, we'll be able to um, add the connect wallet component to our index.tsx, um, which will render it in our app over here. So it's done installing, and now in the app.tsx, we're going to import, um, we're going to import from third web um, dash dev react and then we're going to import the third web provider um, and then we're going to wrap our um, our existing app with the third web provider components of oh, this automatically okay and we're going to wrap third web provider and um, okay and you can see that the third web provider requires that we specify the chain. So we have to add this desired chain ID and the desired chain ID is the chain that we want our app to work with. So we have to tell third web that we want our app, for example, to work with the Mumbai testnet or maybe the Ethereum mainnet. Um, and so to do that, the easiest way to do it is to import something else from third web and that is this chain ID. Um, and once we've got that, we can create um, a new variable called desired chain ID and we can make that equal to chain ID which we imported from third web and now we can select any chain that we want that third web supports so um, you can see all of these um, different chains and for now we're going to select the Mumbai testnet and um, but this is really cool because you don't have to worry about knowing what chain ID is what or how this all works it's just easy to use straight from third web um, and once we've got that then we can specify the desired chain um, and and make it equal to our variable that we created. And now we've got the third web provider set up on the Mumbai testnet and we are ready to use the connect wallet component. We're gonna go over to index.tsx and here again, we're going to import um, from third web. We're going to import from at third web dash dev forward slash react. And here we're gonna import the, the connect wallet component. Um, and we're going to then put it 
down here, the connect wallet component, we can add a color and a an accent color or color mode and a, and a, and an accent color. So the color mode is going to be light, um, and the accent color is. I'm going to be well we could just make it navy because that's simple I suppose and um, and then we can go ahead and see what this actually looks like and um, in our local host you can see the connect wallet button has been created and um, we can connect our wallet to it we can use metamask coinbase or wallet connect and all of this functionality is just ready to use out of the box you don't have to worry about the setup for any of this I'm going to select metamask and I've already connected to my local host so it doesn't metamask doesn't ask me to connect again and um, but you can see now that I'm connected I can copy my address I can switch networks really easily so let's say that I wanted to um, switch for example to um, the polygon mainnet now and um, I could just do that and switch as networks really simply I can switch accounts in my wallet and obviously I can also disconnect my wallet um, and the same would work for coinbase or for wallet connect and um, whatever you want to um, or, or whichever wallet you want to use um, is supported by this component and again all of this functionality just works straight out of the box so if you want to integrate or you want to add a connect wallet button to your um, to your app the easiest way to do it by far is to use this connect wallet component from third web and again you have to just install the third web react sdk and um, add the provider wrap your app in the provider um, and select the chain that you want it to be working on and then add the component where you need it to and um, where you need it to be so this is really really cool really really simple i want to just show you one more thing and um, and that's that if you um, if you want to um, start an app from scratch, so it's not you don't have an existing app, you just want to start an app from scratch, then the easiest way to do it is to use the third web CLI. Um, and so I'm just going to show you a quick example of how to do that. And um, it's going to be a little bit messy because I'm going to do it inside this project. And obviously, this is not the, the way that you would do it. But I just want to quickly show you how it works. So um, I'm going to just close down um, the this uh, terminal and we're going to go npx third web at latest create and this is the third web CLI so it will uh, take us through a little flow um, and allow us to choose what kind of app we want to or what kind of project we want to create do we want to create an app which would be like a Next.js project or a create react app um, or do we want to create um, a contract which would be a smart contract and then you can work with any of the third web um, contract um, bases any of the third web contract templates you could work with it there um, but for us we're going to create an app and we're going to name it third web connect button um, and we can choose what kind of uh, what kind of framework we want to use for now we're going to use the next.js and we're going to select typescript and and then we're going to let it do its thing it's going to install all of the various um, dependencies and just going to uh, set up the whole project for us and what's really cool is that as i said um, what we looked at before is how to integrate it into a, how to integrate this connect wallet button into an existing app but if you're starting from scratch then this third web CLI is by far the easiest way to do it because it will set this all up for you. And um, once this is done, or maybe we can already see it starting to appear here. Yeah, you can already see starting to appear here. Um, and I know that this is a little bit confusing because it, um, in the you know the other project as well, but in the third web connect button project, you can already see that it set up the pages with the connect wallet button um, already set up for you. It's already got the third web provider within, uh, with the active chain um, ID already over there. Um, it already installs into the package.json. Um, you can see the um, React SDK, the third web SDK, ethers. It sets up the whole project for you in a really nice way. Um, and it just makes it super easy to get started and to start a new project and to um, really start building. So um, if you want to integrate the connect wallet component into an existing project, um, then you can go through the steps that we did before, install the React SDK, set up the provider, and then uh, you know add the component. Um, but if you're starting from scratch, then the easiest way to do it is to use the um, third web CLI. Thanks for watching this video. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe to the channel. We're putting out a ton of content, really incredible stuff um, to show you how to build in Web3. And uh, also don't forget to join the third web Discord. The whole team is there so you can speak directly to the developers, the support team. Um, and, uh, and it's really a, a vibrant community full of Web3 builders. Thanks for watching the video and we'll see you in the next one.